Whoops, I always forget to put the headphones on. Okay. This is a review of the Mudder soldering iron. And it comes with extra tips, which is nice. It's also, here's my old one that I have had for years, a Radio Shack one. This is 30 watts only. Didn't come with, you know, any extra tips for soldering. And it, like I said, it's only 30 watts. This is adjustable. So there is the, well, you can't see. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. Here it is. And this is the control to adjust the temperature. And here are the extra tips. And one, two, three, looks like five of them, if I can count right. Well, I guess that'd be six, because there's one already installed. By the way, on the back of this, it tells you how to actually solder. And it also tells you that for the settings here, that what they recommend, uh, 20 to 40 watts uh, for PC boards, IC, uh, I think it says transistors, and chip uh, condenser. I don't know. 60 to 80 watts, it looks like, electronic panels, etc. Anyway, you can read it. But it's how to solder, so look, you know, look that over. By the way, uh, as a separate purchase, you are going to need to purchase some solder. And I recommend some type of holder for this soldering, which I think it's like $6 or something for that one from Amazon. If you don't, you're going to end up burning a hole. You're going to burn the table. You're going to burn the carpet. You're going to burn stuff. So that's definitely something that you will want to get. Now this is the Mudder soldering iron, 110 volts, up to 60 watts, and it has it's adjustable. So it's from, what was it, 20 watts? I cannot... I don't think you can read it either. That little dial, I sure can't. I sure can't read it, but uh, I think it's 20 watts to uh, 60 watts. I am going to jump over and show you. Don't touch the mouse. I'm going to show you their the Amazon page for it. Now here's the, the site you can see that it's a mutter, it's a 60 watt adjustable temperature uh, soldering iron with five different tips. And right now it's uh, selling for $17 on Amazon. Uh, it says it heats up fast, works great, 60 watts thermostat, uh, soft handle, five soldering iron tips can meet different requirements. Uh, It says no need a soldering station. I think you actually do need a, well, you don't, maybe they're talking about a box that you plug into that this plugs, I think that's what they probably mean, but you definitely, I see down here you can order the package. So, uh, okay, you can order the soldering iron holder, and I recommend that, and it uh, looks like they sell some solder also, which you can uh, order. Uh, voltage, of course, uh, temperature range, 200 centigrade to 450 centigrade, uh, and they talk a little bit more about, so, there you have it. I'm going to now jump back, and I'm going to plug this soldering iron in, and we'll see if we can make it smoke or something. How's that sound? So, uh. Uh, don't touch the mouse. Okay, I am back. 
Can you see the little light there, the red light that it's on? The cord could be longer, but you know, I've noticed all these soldering irons, and maybe it has something to do with uh, always, they're never quite long enough, so you want to have a workbench or something, or have, you know, have you an outlet close, close by. Okay. Um, Soldering is not difficult, but do read the instructions. And, and uh, heat is a real killer of electrical components. So do realize, you know, do read up about it and uh, do practice a little bit before you uh, get into whatever you're getting into. And not going to try to tell you how to solder but real quick you know you don't have a couple components or whatever it is here and then you don't go and drop the solder down melt the solder so that it drops down onto it what you have to do is you have to heat up the component I'm not sure do we do they even sell transistors anymore you know but the transistor uh, connector or diode or whatever it is, you know, that you, you uh, heat up the connection and then you add the solder down to the connection. You don't melt the solder and let the solder drop down onto it. But I'm sure on YouTube there are probably a whole bunch of excellent uh, instructional videos on how to how to solder so there you are this is a good you know looks like a good device much better than my fixed wattage old radio shack this has variable heat which would really come in handy so I recommend it be sure and order some solder and be sure and order a stand also and uh, look up how to solder it's it's very easy but uh, what I recommend. Good deal. I've got me a new soldering iron. Now if I could just find the stop button here. 